This is Captain Paul from the Talking Shit Podcast. Let's just get right into it. Tom Brady has officially retired from the NFL. 22 long years as a quarterback in the NFL. Seven Super Bowl championships. Numerous amounts of MPPs. And he's decided to hang up the cleats. So Tom Brady, if you do tend to watch this video, which is probably not going to happen, but I want to say thank you. As a New England Patriots football fan for my whole life, Witnessing those six Super Bowl runs, um, many more legendary seasons from you were just a blast to watch. You made New England Patriot football relevant again. Or you know what? Just relevant. Because before Tom Brady, the Patriots were known as a Mickey Mouse run organization. Never won. You know, maybe go to Super Bowl, then just get destroyed. He brought a legitimacy to the New England Patriots that just never existed before. And that, you know, the championship pedigree that now Patriots fans have, kind of like Steelers fans have, just didn't exist. It just wasn't there. And now we as Patriots fans always expect to just win. We always expect to do well. Even with rookie quarterbacks like Mac Jones, we just expect to do well. He brought that around the Patriots organization. Because before Tom Brady, we didn't win. Fuck. We didn't really go to the playoffs that much. So I want to say thank you, Tom. You brought some of the best entertainment, some of the best football I've ever seen. And you are going to go down as the greatest quarterback of all time. And that is not disputed. That conversation's actually been over for years now. Because the amount of success Tom Brady has seven rings 10 times going to the Super Bowl will never be duplicated that is a run that I don't think people realize is absolutely insane so Tom I want to thank you as a New England Patriots football fan thank you for all the awesome memories and thank you for showing more importantly that hard work dedication and a passion for your job, your craft, is going to make you go far in life. And that's one lesson I think Tom Brady can teach everybody in this, is that regardless of your base level of talent, if you keep working hard and you're passionate about what you love and what you're doing, you will be able to achieve success. So let's get into the statistics, right? Seven rings, 10 Super Bowl appearances. Multiple MVPs, never going to be duplicated, right? Tom Brady in his retirement post, he referenced the Tampa Bay ownership, the GM, the coaching staff with the Arians, uh, even Michigan. But Tom Brady snubbed the New England Patriots in his initial Instagram post regarding it. And New England Patriots fans were very, very, very upset. Now, I'm going to say this from a Patriots fan, someone that grew up as a Pats fan. And did uh, did I root for the Pats when Tom Brady left? Absolutely. I, You know, when Tom Brady played the Patriots, I wanted the Patriots to win. But, you know, I'll be honest. I wanted Tom Brady to win when he didn't play my team. I want to see him success. But as a New England, uh, New England Patriots football fan, let's just be real. I can understand how Tom Brady feels regarding the Patriots right now. He felt like, you know, Belichick gave up on him far too early, uh, you know, wanted to move on to the next big thing with Jimmy G. And I think when Jimmy G happened, that relationship did kind of get, you know, splintered in a way. Because Tom Brady then realized that Bill Belichick doesn't view him as any other player. Tom Brady, you know, multiple Super Bowl winning champion at the time that Garoppolo was drafted is just looked at as the guy that he's going to be replacing in a few years. And that created a lot of controversy with the New England Patriots. So I, I completely understand why Brady felt the way he did. Kraft won that argument in the long run, and thank God, because we won a couple more rings because of it. But Tom Brady has the right to feel a little bit miffed. Now, later in a Twitter post, he thanked Patriots Nation and Patriots fans in a very small little sentence. But, you know... I think as Patriots fans, some people were very upset, very miffed, because he's always going to go down as a Patriot. He had two years in Tampa. You want a ring, that's great, but he had undeniable 
success in New England with six Super Bowl championships. He's always going to be known as a New England Patriot. The Tampa Bay thing, it's like, are you going to remember Brett Favre as a Viking or are you going to remember Brett Favre as a Packer? No, you're going to remember him as a Packer. So I feel like that's very similar. So people were very miffed. The New England Patriots fans like, well, what the hell? Like, why is he not, you know, congratulating or like saying thank you to all the Patriots and Patriots fans? Well, you know what? That relationship was splintered. I think Shannon Sharp, and I don't always agree with everything Shannon Sharp uh, says, but Shannon Sharp had a very, you know, knowledgeable take on it and undisputed today is that, you know, when he retired, you know, as a Raven, he didn't want to go back to Denver, fuck Denver, but it took time for things to heal. And I think this relationship with Tom Brady and New England uh, Patriot organization will just take a little bit of time to heal, maybe a year, maybe a couple of years of him away from the game to really kind of cherish those memories in New England. And maybe, you know, I would like to see, and this is more of a fantasy, but I'd like to see Bill, uh, Bill Belichick and Tom Brady hopefully get a little bit more of a close relationship when Brady does retire, like Belichick has done with a lot of former New England Patriots football players. Because I think, you know, two of the greatest of all time should definitely have that level of respect for one another, but also should have a, at least a decent and amicable relationship where they can fucking talk, right? So. As a Patriots fan, again, I want to say thank you, Tom Brady. You brought so much fun and just energy into this fan base. You made us actually legitimate, relevant. We now expect a rookie quarterback to win the Super Bowl, <laughs> which I thought was a little insane. But, hey, you know what? When you grow up with the amount of success you get from Tom Brady, you get a little spoiled. So, like I said, thanks again, Tom. I think goes down as the greatest of all time. Goes down as one of the most successful athletes of all time. In my personal opinion, is the greatest athlete of all time. That's going to be heavily disputed. But let me know down below, what did you think about Tom Brady and his career? Um, which one of your fondest memories of Tom Brady? Uh, and just generally, how do you feel about the uh, retirement in general? Because how are, I think that got a little controversial as well. So for Captain Paul... This is the Talking Shit Podcast. I'm done talking my shit, and I'll see you in the next one.